Pat's two cents. Picture this with me. Picture a big giant frog with stars and stripes on its back. That's America. Now picture it sitting in a pot full of cold water and it's swimming along, having fun, living, breathing, enjoying, eating and drinking and being merry and doing its thing as usual, as they call it, business as usual, right? And the fire slowly being turned up. Hello, slowly warming up that water and everybody's getting all comfortable and complacent. Why? Because we've got cell phones, we've got the internet, we've got 5G, we've got all forms of entertainment, we've got all kinds of distractions dummying us down. And then slowly the water gets warmer and warmer. And just about the time when we start to feel the heat, uh-oh, coronavirus. All of it looks like it's a strategic layout, doesn't it? Then you look at the evil schemes starting to rear their ugly heads, don't you? Now, you can say it's happening. You can lay blame. You can... Tell me what you think, but I'm just going to paint a scenario without using key phrases because I don't want YouTube to sabotage this video getting out. I want you to think with me. Put your thinking hats on. Now, imagine the powers that be, the puppeteers are above pulling the strings to the puppets. Who are the puppets? The media, the politicians, all of these are the puppets. While the puppeteers, where the real money is, where the real power is, is pulling strings all over the world. And they have already sat in the conference rooms planning out this demise, the slow demise, the slow chaos of the world crippling it, bringing it to its knees. And you see how we have a panic with toilet paper. Imagine seeing the countries sitting on the toilets with their drawers down, their pants are down. There's no toilet paper. Uh-oh, what do we do? Panic kicks in because people are dying and people can't wipe their behinds. So what happens? Now the attention is on that. While it's on that, well, what's the next thing that can be made to happen? The next domino that is to fall while the frog is cooking in the pot. Hello. Think for a second. Think what could be happening next. Satellite spots in the country. Satellite areas in other countries. In, in rural cities, in major cities, where there are great populations of people. And what's going on with those satellites? Those are the enemies that have infiltrated, and they're waiting for their command to start sending off missiles and attacking all the countries, including America, from within. Imagine that with me. I actually dreamt it, y'all. I had a dream that one day I was heading out of my house and there were planes bombing the hills way off at a distance. And right in front of me on our street, from one end to the other, were soldiers, tanks, artillery, Soldiers walking, soldiers asking the citizens questions. What were they dressed in? Black uniforms, not the ones we see as American soldiers. However, the soldiers were American, but they were no longer wearing American uniforms. What does that tell you about the changes taking place in this country, right under our noses. And then all of a sudden, kazam. Mm, interesting, isn't it? Abracadabra, poof. 
and we're under a new system. Oh boy, what just happened? After all the chaos and all the deaths and all the sicknesses, what happened when the dust settled? Are we possibly no longer America? Have we been taken over by another hidden power that's been in the works all this time? Will our civil liberties be taken away? Will all of a sudden there be no way to have church services after time? What's going to happen to this country? What's going to happen to you and me? This is a matter of prayer. Because when you are oppressed by powers that are greater than you, you better go to the power that's greater than the oppression. God himself, have mercy on us, Lord. Think about what's going on and pray about this mess. Because I'm telling you, I've had too many dreams, explosions going on in the city. I've had dreams of missiles being launched from within the city, landing in the city. I've seen images of other attacks going on. I don't want to get into a bunch of details because I don't want to speak things into existence. But I want to share with you, we need to pray against this crap going on. Ask God for mercy. Ask him to stay his judgment, which means hold it off. Hold it off. Don't make it so severe. He will judge this country. He will judge this world. But we need to ask him to judge the ones that are the most guilty and have mercy on those of us who are at least trying. God bless you. And God bless you with safety.